Hello everyone, and this is Christian, and this is my Avengers project. Our first amazing man is Jules Henry Giffard, a French guy who invented the powered airship, today known as the Blimp. First, let's start off with some background info. He was born in 1825 in Paris, France. He was a very motivated kid. He educated himself by studying the notes of his classmates. He knew how to turn anything he found into something mechanical. At the age of 14, he wanted to drive a locomotive. He succeeded on the Western Railway. He had a passage for mechanics of this machine. He studied at Barbarian College in Paris, France for 12 years, earning a degree in mechanics. He found his fortune with the invention of the steam injector, which was used on trains and other steam using machines. Henry was awarded the Prani Medal Award for Mechanical Arts in 1872 for a steam injector. Here are some interesting facts about this amazing man, Henry Giffard. Hope you enjoy. Number one, he pioneered the research into lighter than air flight. Two, he applied the principles of the steam power to build the first controllable passenger aircraft called the dirigible, a French word meaning steerable, a powered airship in 1852. 3. The whole dirigible weighed 369 pounds point, point eight three two pounds. The dirigible had three horsepower engine on it that powered three propellers. The first flight of Henry's dirigible was in 1852 was 50 years before the Wright brothers first flight. 6. His dirigible was the first passenger carrying aircraft in the 1800s. 7. His controllable dirigible can only turn in very small circles. 8. On, se on September 24, 1852, his first flight of Henry's dirigible could only go 6 miles an hour over the city of Paris. Paris winds made it very hard to fly. Number 9. He traveled 17 miles in his dirigible from the city of Paris and landed near a race course near Trappist. 10. Since the first flight of the dirigible on, eight, on, seven, on tw September 24, 1852, he couldn't turn. He continued to work on the problem for the rest of his life till he went blind. <clears throat> Unfortunately, he had a very tragic ending. He committed suicide in 1852, 1882 excuse me, at the age of 57. Henry Jafar played a very important role in the aviation industry. Check out my sources for more information on this amazing French guy, inventor, Henry Giffard. Here are my sources. www.encyclopedia.com www.thevintagenews.com www.space.com and www.wondersoftheworld.net and of course www.sci-hi.org Thank you for listening and I hope to see you later. Bye!